Today we're going to find out if 100 super modern people can defeat 1 million basic drooling morons. Basically, modern society versus cavemen. So that's going to be 4 super sophisticated elves and 400 basic humans with little resources to work with for their entire existence. Which makes for a neat 1 to 100 ratio of humans to elves. The humans do have all of the space to occupy and lots of food, so they'll multiply in number, whereas the elves have everything they need to advance through civilization. So with that, let's press play and get this dumpster fire started. So far, they've established the arrows of Hra. All four of them joined the same uh, society, which is a good start. Humans, on the other hand, have uh, established like eight different empires, all of grass. Mostly because that's really all they have to work with. There's the occasional berry bush and ore, but they're basically grass empires. The elves seem to be off to a pretty good start. They've created a few small huts. They've even expanded a little bit, so this is good. There are up to six people now. Uh, we do have a mod installed, so we can make this absolutely modern skyscrapers and modern society. But naturally, we're not going to let the humans get there because we've seen what humans do with modern society. They'll just end up recreating social media and it'll all fall apart. The elves definitely are expanding very rapidly. I've given them a bunch of very, uh, hopefully helpful biomes around so they should have everything they need to work with. With a screaming noise, something has fallen from the sky. Oh, good news, humans. You've uh, had a meteorite full of very rare ore, actually, so I would take advantage of that. Mm, I'm not sure how their firefighting skills are. They're in a very flammable grassland, but we'll just see what happens. Now, I did say the elves like trees. I did read a lot of comments uh, telling me how to play this game. I mostly just got more confused than ever before, so we're just going to give them a bunch of trees, and they should be pretty happy with that. The humans are slowly expanding. It's only been about 15 years since they started and they've occupied like one sixth of the entire space. The elves are very intelligently not splitting up yet. They only have 21 people but they're all the same little village. For these initial elves, I think I'm going to give them wise, lucky, minor, and ambitious. Just to make sure they do start advancing through society and have a little bit of luck on their side. And we'll keep giving them everything they need so that they end up with high rises and like modern jets. The humans did actually manage to get a slightly upgraded civilization. Now a few of their villages got there actually, so they're making progress a little bit faster than I thought, but they're really going to struggle because they just don't have what they need to learn and grow. The elves only have a level 3 culture so far, but they're getting good at weapon production already and sharp axes. They will also gain knowledge faster, so that'll help them uh, advance. The humans so far, for the most part, they just skipped into a level 3 culture. Their knowledge gain isn't as advanced. But that was kind of the point, I did want to keep them rather stupid. And in fact, we actually can rain stupid on them. We're not going to give a very thick rain, but we're going to give ample rain so now most of them are actually stupid and staying in caveman mode. I think they will eventually breed that trait out, but until then they're going to be dealing with food scarcity and forest fires. Uh, but then again, we don't want them to be starving to death, we want lots of them out there, so we're going to give them lots of food. Food won't help them advance, food will just keep them alive and stupid. Look at the elves go, they're up to 35 people and they're getting a really advanced civilization. They're up to level 4 now. Their population is definitely growing faster than the humans are, but we'll be sure to balance that out. Because they started at 1 100th of the humans and they're already at like 1 15th, so they've made massive strides. And apparently this kingdom has descended into madness, so I think they're all just fighting each other and everyone around them, as cavemen do. They're not very intelligent. And the elves have started mining ore, they're even building a shipyard at this point. It's been about 40 years, the elves do have their first army as well. These dull humans are actually keeping up not bad, they do have a level 5 culture level and 2.3 knowledge gain, but we'll smack them back down at some point. The world population is up to 900 already though. And all the different people, there's enough numbers now that they'll survive these disasters anyways. The numbers are still about one uh, elf to every 15 humans, but that scale is tipping slightly the other way. But the humans do have all of this space, so once they occupy it, we'll see what we have to do to make the humans multiply, and multiply stupidly. The humans do often fight each other, which obviously knocks their numbers down and kind of stalls their society. The stolen society is perfectly fine, knocking their numbers down, not super helpful. But it's what people do. It has now been 50 years, the world population is 1100, so it were about one elf to every 11 humans, and we need one to 100, so those humans need to get busy. I never realized how many trees would grow if you just kind of left the land to go by itself. I think we can all agree that berry bushes won't make anyone smarter, but it will feed them and help them expand. So I'm going to drop some berry bushes pretty much across the northern hemisphere. We're good dropping 10 trillion berry bushes on people. They may fight less if they're less hungry, but they also just will populate quicker. 
they are expanding quite a bit in, and that makes me wonder if they are looking for food. So we'll just lay some berry bushes down everywhere, along with some animals. The elves, however, have almost uh, filled their whole island out. There's 110 of them, so even if they uh, optimistically double, there might only be 200 elves, but that's perfect. They've even created windmills for themselves. They're already at a level 8 culture and 4.9 knowledge gain. They can do all of this stuff, including weapons. Not sure what that big explosive sound was. They have a tornado up there. Something really big just hit somewhere. And I really can't be that bothered to figure out what that was. I'm busy giving my elves everything they need in life to succeed. What is what is this thing? Lee Leo. He is wise, attractive, paranoid, and is immune to poison, but I have no idea what he actually is. But I need to uh, remember to keep stocking up the elves with all the ore they need, that way they can properly advance. They finally filled out their whole little island thing at 140 population. Which is, yeah, about 1 in 10. There's 10 times the humans currently, but the humans have a lot more space and they can really fill in their density. The Great Ad seems to be the greatest human empire currently. It is a culture level 7 already, and they're doing things like roads, so they're actually a lot smarter than I gave them credit for. Oh, it's an earthquake. Here's where we can get a little adventurous with this, because this downgrades buildings. So if any uh, civilization is getting too advanced, say I don't like the look of these guys, I can downgrade their buildings to previous forms. That way no one ever gets too advanced, because they have to keep working to make the same progress back again. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to zoom way out, make our thing as big as we possibly can, and rain the lack of progress on them. The elves, on the other hand, hardly need any help. Like, look at this building. I don't even know what this is. But they're getting all sorts of skills, all sorts of intelligence, and all sorts of uh, knowledge. 72 years since the beginning of this, the human empires are starting to consolidate a little bit. Holy Ajee, over here is 650 people all by itself. But I don't like what they're doing with their houses. They're going back into tents. So we're taking them back a few good levels. Uh, I've also got a massive thunderstorm that's uh, helping me keep the humans in check. This might actually be somewhat counterproductive in a way because I'm assuming bigger houses can hold more people. Yeah, I'm going to stop doing that for a while. At the best, I might upgrade the elves because they're probably about limited for how big their population can be for the area. 200. So we just need 200,000 uh, humans over here. So they've got a little ways to go. The elves are getting very advanced very quickly though. Like they have all sorts of very high-tech buildings and armies. I do want to take a basic uh, elvish house and advance it a little bit to see what kind of other things I can get out of these. Okay, there's like a modern house and there's going to be more modern house and they get bigger and bigger. So this is a level 10 house that doesn't normally exist. I'm assuming that can hold quite a few people though. Can we advance their windmills? The windmills stay the same. Their main uh, town hall thing though could definitely be advanced. There we go. We'll give them a little bit of a bump ahead. That's going to help their culture in a big way. The elves seem to be a good choice for this. They're able to do a lot with a little bit. I'm pretty sure they live for a very long time so they can continue to get smarter and smarter. The elves are finally starting to uh, arm themselves with wooden sticks. Their culture level is up to level 14, which so far is actually matched with the humans. They're doing very well based on numbers. But th that is also the biggest empire and probably the most advanced because of it. Uh, the elves somehow managed to cross over to the humans area, which isn't great. Uh, they seem to have sailed across. I'm not entirely sure how, so I'm re-thickening my mountain. <laughs> then I'm gonna try and magnet up all of the elves I can get my hands on here. Probably end up grabbing a few other things, but that's okay. We're gonna import whoops, some different things over to the other side. Okay, you guys, stay on your side. I don't know how they did that, but their empire should hopefully be taken over by humans eventually, because they shouldn't like this sitting here. Okay, now the humans are starting to get annoyed, so they're finally coming in to take them out. There should only be an elf or two left at best, so they'll demolish this, and the elves will stay on their side of the fence for a while. So it's a good sign, too, that the humans are willing to attack the elves. The human so far, uh, he actually has a legendary weapon. I'm pretty sure that's like a basic stone sword, but still, it's surprising that they're managing to do this with their basic uh, mines. Look at this basic stuff these elves have to deal with. We need to upgrade everything. We're going to help push the elves a little bit along. This is all going to turn them into sort of a modern society. It makes the buildings easier to see so I can stop dropping ore on them all. Uh, this should help them not have to worry about upgrading buildings and stuff anymore. Their culture should advance rapidly if they can put resources into whatever else they want to at this point. Okay, now let's see what happens. Their population is going up quickly, but that's okay. We can still balance that out with the humans. This smut, tiny little island is home to one-fifth of the population so far, and that's going up so quickly. These guys uh, are actually going to be outnumbered by elves if we let this keep going like it is. Okay, I'm going to add some more perks to the elves, one of which is going to be genius. Just to make sure that not only their buildings are advanced, they are also advanced. Then for all of the humans, I'm going to make them both stupid and ambitious at this point. That should be a winning combination. This world is so big that it actually takes time to like rain all over it. I'm sure I'm missing lots, but we'll get like 60-70% of the humans this way. 
they'll be ambitious and stupid and that's gonna cause all sorts of fun. And I redeposited every ore that the elves could ever want, so they'll hopefully go along uh, really advancing themselves somehow. So just about, yeah, one in four people on the map is an elf. Uh, the humans have three quarters of the population in this giant area. The elves down here are really doing a lot with a little, probably because they are skyscrapers. Probably also helps that they live for so long. Actually, they don't die from natural causes nearly as often, but they can have some cows. Maybe they like cows. Humans can also have cows. Uh, I do need to be careful because at some point the game will start to lag, but I feel like I've put way more creatures on. This Elvis soldier has a weapon called Do Me Regret. You wouldn't think they were very smart by that. Their knowledge gain is up to 15. <laughs> Whereas the humans have three, so they're definitely very basic. And for the time being, I've made all the humans uh, at peace, so they shouldn't really be fighting each other for now. Just so they can start to build up their numbers properly and get ready for a great war with the elves. Who definitely have a rather nice little kingdom over here with everything they could ever want. Except ore, they go through ore at a rapid rate. But they're all the way up to silversmithing so they can make all sorts of silver devil shooter legendary bow. It looks like now, after 108 years, the elvish population might have sort of stabilized at around 1,000. So we just need to get the humans up to 100,000 or something thereabouts. Oh, they just got a massive meteor right into the center of them. But they got some rare ore, so, you know, yeah, they're even mining it right away. Risking burning alive for some ore. You think with all the space the humans have, they would be multiplying at an alarming rate but they're not really uh, expanding as much as they should be. I'm not really sure why. So I'm just letting things go at five times speed right now to see how it goes. The elves might have also expanded faster because they live a lot longer. I've been high speeding through this for a while and this culture, the elves are up to 27. So another problem I have is all of the humans are in a million different empires. They're gonna fight each other as much as the elves. Luckily, I have sort of a solution to make all the humans under the same empire. Say we have an empire called Great O of 121 people. We're gonna make them declare war on their larger neighbor, the realm of whatever. So that makes them officially at war. Now, if we hit them with madness, suddenly they're fighting everyone and anyone. See the number dropping already? Anyone who has madness is no longer part of their empire. Anyways, if we take this uh, big ass magnet, we can just suck everyone up into the sky and then just sort of uh, transplant them up here in this empire. And then with only 30 people left in this vast expanse, we can take some of the soldiers from over here and place them there. They're at war, so these guys will fight this area. And then as we plus play, watch what happens. It's just that easy, and then we just keep doing that until all the empires are one. One of the steps I did forget is that when you drop the madness people into the new home, you need to cure them with the light. Otherwise, they're going to fight their uh, fellow countrymen at that point, and we don't want people to die. And with the final green country down at the bottom about to fall because I basically dumped all of the armies down there, it should be one big purple human civilization. So we can create this now to have a 1v1, uh, maybe a 2v1, but the two people down here probably aren't going to last very long. Plus there's still the minor population problem. It's only a 3v1 of humans versus highly sophisticated elves. I'm hoping for that, that I can actually just spawn in like 10,000 humans that will slowly assimilate into this empire and be very, very basic cavemen themselves. So it'll actually pull this empire in a more crude direction while boosting population. That actually seems to work. You can see the population of this empire going up as I spawn humans into it. But I think maybe a 5v1 situation might be fair. There's uh, 5,000 very basic humans now in this empire. Most of which are literally like two years old, but look at all the armies against this super elven army. So by now the elves have a level 30 culture, they have 17.2 knowledge gain, so they've been uh, researching things much faster than the humans. Who do have some pretty respectable stuff going on, their knowledge gain isn't bad, so they bred out this stupid and their culture level got high, but I did this like quadruple their population with complete babbling morons. So this tiny dirt strip is where the battle is probably going to commence, because these two are not going to like each other. I decided to have a narrow little strip, that way it would actually kind of favor the smaller armies. And you can see the size difference. They have one-fifth the population, they do have three or four small but well-equipped trained armies. These guys have a million different armies. But I suspect a lot of which are completely unequipped and basically newborns. This guy's age 10, we're sending 10 year olds into battle. Okay, let's unpause it and see what happens. There's already an army sitting right there, so that's kind of convenient. The elves did just move the entire army. Yeah, it looks like they're going for it. I don't know if they're going to directly attack or they're just sitting there defensively. They should be fairly intelligent. Uh, oh, they're going way up there to attack. They're not that intelligent. Look at all the armies crisscrossing. Uh, okay, the elves can't go too far because if they do, they're going to get overrun. They'll get surrounded. They should stay and fight right here somewhere. 
They really should set it in there. It looks like so far they're actually decimating humans pretty bad. They probably have ranged weapons that the humans might not actually, which would be great. Uh, so far, yeah, so far the uh, elves are actually kind of running a rampage through them. Reinforcements are slowly on the way though. But these ranged uh, elves are really, really strong. This is on one time speed and they're lighting everything on fire. Idiots, this is why you can't have anything nice. I mean, fire happens. Sometimes stuff just gets lit on fire, but so far I'm actually really impressed with how uh, well these elves are doing. They haven't really lost any population and the humans have lost hundreds. They haven't really fought any properly structured armies, but when they do so far, like, they just de destroyed an entire army. Uh, they are, might get surrounded though if they get too brave like that. They can't get too far in there. They're supposed to be geniuses. But honestly, so far, this is pretty expect unexpected. Like, they're actually pushing way into that territory without much issue. They're getting some resistance, but the elfish soldiers are so much better, and especially if they can hit them with range, they're destroying the humans. I guess if they have, like, legendary bows, too, they'll probably kill the humans before they get close. Like, there's a uh, captain of the humans, two captains of the humans dead, there's another few, they're dead. Cool. This might actually work for the uh, elvish side. Yeah, so the humans have lost 500, 10% of the population, the elves have actually gained population. Well, it looks like the uh, humans are getting smart to go into the elvish uh, base. Uh, I don't think there's any armies left behind to defend, so the elves might want to put an army back here to defend their own base. Uh, the elvish king, I think, is right here. I think this is the king. He has a, a legendary weapon, so he himself might actually really mess these guys up. Or he himself might get destroyed because he's about to be 10v1 and he's single-handedly defending his kingdom. Uh, you know, he's supposed to be a genius, but he probably shouldn't let all his armies out into the world. So the humans are getting pretty deep into elvish territory. There's not a ton of them though, so I think if a few of the elves come back, they will destroy them quickly. Uh, the elves are starting to lose numbers now though. They lost 10% of their population, but the humans have lost slightly more. I just don't know if this battle is actually going to shake out ultimately. There's a few humans definitely down here, but the elves will probably kill them. Even basic elves are probably pretty strong at this point. And if any of the elvish archers come back, they're really a problem for humans. Yeah, I think they're about to de defeat the uh, human armies. So yeah, there'll be no more humans on this side of the map. And the elves are still out there rampaging around like they do. There's a big army over here. These guys are really dangerous. Just there's a ton of bowmen. The humans do keep sending more armies in to try and uh, take the elvish area. If the elves were smart, they would sit right here with bows and just destroy the humans as they're walking up to them. Look at the size of that guy. What are you? He's actually a giant. He has a legendary wooden sword. Look at the bite the elves took out of them so far, though. I do think their armies are dwindling a little bit. Like, there's this army up here, but they don't really have a specific goal in mind. They're just sort of wandering upwards. Now there's a pretty good battle going on right at the mouth of where the, uh, the humans came in and their six, seven armies looks like they've defeated the elvish resistance. There is another elven army, but they're hiding way up here and they've probably got some decent gear to be able to fight them off, but they clearly don't like the middle of the elven empire. These guys up here though, they're just ridiculous the way they're going. Like they pillaged their way all the way up here and took out like one, two thousand, uh, well, 1,500 of the humans so far. But I think this is also a bit of a turning point uh, for the elves because their population is dropping because they're mostly just farmers and miners at this point. They don't have any warriors left to defend. Mostly because they sent all their uh, amazing elite psychopaths up here and they just went on a rampage around Humanville without any strategy at all. Now, this is kind of the last hope for the elves though. This little army that was hiding up in the corner that might have been a pathing issue. They're going to try and push the humans out. Although the other elvish army might actually be coming back now. They might realize that they've been stupid by going up there. There's still a little bit of an elvish army here. I think it's basically this guy who uh, has a wooden stick. Defender of modern society with a wooden stick and he was murdered by an idiot with a bow and arrow. The elves did way better than I thought they did though. Like the humans were up to almost 5,500. They're down to 3,500. Like the elves took out that much of their empire. So if it was like a 3 to 1 battle, the elves would have dominated them. Like this army is still going strong. They might conceivably like hit so much damage into the humans it would take them forever to recover. Alright, well let's times 5 it till the end to see exactly how this plays out. But as I thought, the human numbers are dropping, but the elves have 50 of them left. Probably mostly in that army that was so strong. But that's about it. The humans officially win.